Hey, guess what? This is my lazy vlog. Quick announcement up front, my short film Who Dun Dun Done It will be screening at the Die Laughing Festival, which is next month, May, I believe. I'm going to put a link in the place where links generally are to the website where you can buy tickets and come watch it if that's something that you're interested in. And if it's uh, not possible for you to come to the festival or any of the festivals that it's going to be screening in, but you still want to see it, there is a way that you can see it. It's not public just yet. Nobody, like, it's not online. So not in, not just anybody can just watch it. But you can see it now if you want by donating to the fundraiser for The Darkest Timeline, which is the web series that I'm working on. I'll put a link to the place in where links generally are for that too because there's only, like, eight days left in that fundraiser. And we aren't near our goal. So, you know, if you were, like, waiting for the last minute, it's, like, the last minute now. So... You know, come and consider donating and help out by spreading the word and get people to see it. And it's it's still interesting how many people don't know that it's happening. Um, I'm do I'm doing a web series and there's a fundraiser going and I'm trying to make something awesome here. So help me make it awesome. Um, the links go look at the links. You know, and 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 question while you're looking at those links, um, if there's like, because um, I said in my last video that my fundraiser has gotten over 2,000 views and has only raised um, not near that. So my question was um, if there's something that I could do to make it more appealing. If there's like maybe an incentive that you'd be interested in that wasn't featured there, that isn't listed on the fundraiser. Or something that I could do to make it more... Um, appealing for people to consider donating then let me know because i feel like maybe i'm missing something and if you can tell me something that would help so go go to the links go look at some stuff and you know help me make something awesome and now i'm gonna talk about something um somebody asked me a while ago it was long enough ago that i don't remember who it was that asked but the question was why is it that um that what was it why is it that that i'm trying to remember okay so the situation of of the question was that this person a, a friend of this person was in a show um i don't remember what show but um they acted in a show and but all of the that person's parts were cut out of the show and the person asking me about it was worried that the reason for that person's parts being cut out might have been because the director disliked them. Uh, maybe they offended somebody and it was personal. And we're, worry we're wondering why things get cut. And, and I wanted to answer that question. I don't remember who it was. If you, if you were the one who asked me that question, um, tell me, because I, it was so long ago that I'm sorry, but I don't remember who it was that asked. And this is a lazy vlog, which means I'm not going to look it up because that would be the opposite of lazy. I know I have it on my Facebook or wherever it was that you asked me, but it's so I'm not going to, because it's lazy vlog stuff, you know, no edits, no looking up stuff, just off the top of my brainy parts. And I don't remember, but the answer is it's not personal. I was in four episodes of Cheers. But I'm only credited for three episodes of Cheers because my all of my scenes were cut out of the fourth episode. So, and I was in the other three, so I'm credited for the other three. So, um, the cutting room floor is worth, you know, is a metaphor for where things end up after they've been cut out of the project. But I promise you, never will it happen that the director cuts somebody out of a project because of anything personal, because of anything that person did to, uh, you know, for a, to, that might offend or anything like that. It's not personal. There are many reasons why something might get cut out of a project. None of them are personal. Um, they might have to do with, you know, the flow, the timing. Um, you know, they have, you have to fit so much, uh, only so much into so much time, and they want the story to flow, or maybe that scene just didn't make sense, or maybe, you know, for the for the point of the story or if if for whatever reason the director just decided that um that that scene just didn't work or you know there's a million reasons so many reasons and not one of them are personal 
Um, if the if that particular scene was slowing down the pacing, or it just didn't make sense with the story, or there was a change in the story, and the character was decided. There there have been so many examples of characters in movies that got cut out altogether by the time the movie is released, even though the actor was there and did the acting and all that. That just for story or timing or you know for whatever reason, there will have been a change. Um, to the project in some way that it just makes more sense for the or for the flow or for whatever for that scene and then maybe by that character to just be cut out and it's not personal in any way believe me the very fact that you were hired by a director and on the set and they're acting means that the director likes you and believes in you and likes you enough that he wants you, he or she, because females can be directors too, have to, you know, be, you know, that. Um, but anyways, the, the director likes you well enough that they're willing to, you know, have you in their project because the director is placing a lot of faith in their actors uh, for their project. And because really, at the end of the day, it's made, the whatever project it is, is made or broken by the actors. And if the actors are, you know, not able to hold up their end of it, then it can destroy a project. It can take the whole project and bring it down a notch. So the director has to have good actors, which means the director has to have actors they can trust. So the very fact that you were cast and put there means the director likes you and trusts you with their project. So if you got cut out of it, it's not personal in, in, in any way. So don't take it personal. It just, it's just the nature of the beast, man. It just happens. And I'm going to call that it. Don't forget to check out the links in the place where links generally are. And, oh, also, side note, real quick. I'm going to put another link in the place where links generally are. One of the actors from the, uh, the Who Dun 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 It short film and from the web, the, uh, the web series I'm working on, who, The Darkest Timeline, um, one of the actors, her name is Albury... Uh, Hansen, I'm going to put a link in the place where links generally are to her YouTube channel, and I highly suggest everyone watching this go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She's uh, sh She's got a hilarious series called Confessions of an Airport Bartender, and she's telling stories about, like, people she encounters at working at an airport bar, and it's hus hysterical, and she needs more subscribers. So everyone here... If you're watching this, you are now obligated to go subscribe to Albury's YouTube channel. Link in the place where links generally are. Her last two videos she did with an Irish brogue that, like, is really impressive, which she learned it for a live show that she's in, which, you know, that's just... It, it's just a further testament to how... I, I cast her in my last project and in my current project because I have faith in her as well as the rest of my actors. If you're on my cast, that means I've got faith in you. And so that alone is a statement to what I was just saying earlier about, you know, an, a director having faith in and liking their cast and not choosing to cut anyone out of anything for any personal reasons. And I'm going to go now because I've been talking for way too long. So, hey, guess what? This was my lazy vlog. I don't know why I said it like that.